Tina. I'm Ross. And today we have our unboxing of the latest Universal Yums box. But before we get started, I'd just like to invite you to subscribe to our channel. If you like food unboxings or food reactions, please give us a, this video a like and subscribe to our channel. So this month we have a box from Taiwan. And if you're unfamiliar with Universal Yums, it is a monthly subscription box and they feature a different country each month. We do subscribe to the smallest box and they do have a medium box and a larger box. So each month you do get a card with a map of the country and also a guidebook that gives you information, some trivia about the country, as well as information about each of the snacks. Trivia, okay, lay some on me. I was gonna say. Let me ask you a trivia question. All right. No cheating. Okay, at 7-Eleven in Taiwan, locals can A, do their dry cleaning, B, get a foot massage, C, rent a movie, or D, buy comic books. I'm going to say rent a movie. No, 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 no. Take it back. <laughs> buy comic books. Buy comic books. Yeah. Both of those are wrong. It's actually dry cleaning believe it or not at, at 7-eleven yep that's what it says they can do um, they can pay electricity bills ship packages buy concert tickets have their clothes washed and even check their blood pressure oh, we can go to <laughs> CVS or Rayleigh's <laughs> markets and they have those not very accurate blood yeah. pressure but dry cleaning at 7-eleven yeah we don't have that here our, not at our 7-eleven <laughs> our 7-eleven really needs to up their game so that's an example of information about the snacks and they often will have little recipes at the end too maybe this one doesn't have it actually they do milk tea milk tea so they do have a recipe for milk tea you might want to try that yes kingdom of butterflies they always get send you a sticker each month too which tina has done absolutely nothing with. No. so first up we have bubble tea popcorn not sure what to think of that. We actually tried bubble tea for the first time, and I can put a link to that video up there. I think we were the last people on earth that actually tried right. bubble tea or boba tea. And Granted, it was canned. It was not yeah. fresh. And maybe that's something we should try sometime is made to order. Yeah, because we do have some uh, boba tea shops around, so we'll give them a try. Not sure what to think about bubble tea popcorn. You want to open that up, and I'll take a look at what it has to say about it. it. says, popcorn with a tea-rific Taiwanese twist. It says it's the country's most beloved beverage, bubble tea. It said invented in the 1980s, bubble tea or boba tea comes in many different delicious variations. At its core, it's a combination of tea, milk, and chewy tapioca pearl bubbles. How's it smell? to go with. Hmm. It reminds me of Cracker Jacks. I was just thinking that. <laughs> I didn't verbalize it, but I was thinking that. And they're both kind of different colors. Yeah, it looks a lot like Cracker Jacks. Yeah, it does smell like it. <laughs> nice big pieces. Hmm. Those aren't bad. I wasn't sure what to expect. Um, it reminds me a little bit of Cracker Jacks, but slightly different flavor. Yeah. It's just sort of like a sweetened popcorn. Mm-hmm. Has a little bit of a coating on it. Got to do a close-up on one of the dark ones too. That's what they look like. Yeah. Now I'm sure everyone at some point in our lives in the United States, we've had fiddle faddle. What's the other one? Crunch and munch. Crunch and munch and fiddle mm -hmm. faddle. It's just like solid sugar <laughs> on uh, popcorn, which I'm not opposed to. But these are good. They're not as sweet. As the, the fiddle faddle crunchy much. I think I'd actually prefer something like this where it's not like a whole week's worth of sugar and one mm -hmm. serving. Yeah. Things aren't bad at all. I definitely munch on those. Mm -hmm. Very similar to Cracker Jacks, I think. I think so. Yeah. yeah. Not bad at all. So next, I should have taken everything out. I, I usually do savory to sweet, but I messed up and I did the sweet first. Oh, I see something I know you're going to love. 
I'm gonna do the soy cracker next. This is Korean kimchi soy crackers. Go ahead and open that. Kimchi, what are your thoughts on kimchi? I have not had kimchi. I understand it's kind of similar to sauerkraut, but spicy. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken. That's my understanding as well. I know you like sauerkraut more than I do. Yeah, it says, well, if you're wondering why Korean pickled cabbage is in a Taiwan box, that's because locals love kimchi. In fact, they love it so much, they have their own Taiwanese kimchi called Pao Kai pickled vegetables. Different from spicy Korean kimchi, Taiwanese kimchi is more sweet and sour to suit the local preferences for non-spicy foods. Okay. Not getting a, not getting a very strong scent. Mm-mm. That's what one looks like right there. Look okay, at these thin, thin little rectangular mm. strips. Go ahead. <laughs> Spicy. It's got a little spice to it. Mm -hmm. It's one of those I think that sneaks up on you after you chew it for a while. It's not bad. Yeah. The spices are kind of interesting. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure I love the flavor of the cracker though. No, I don't, I don't mind it though. Put this in the category of you're watching TV, have a bag of these. <laughs> They'd be gone in no time. Mm -hmm. Yep, but not bad. Yeah, spicy, but not too spicy. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe I'm just not a huge fan of the the soy flavor, the soy cracker part of it. I was gonna say, uh, if you didn't tell me what these were, and someone said, oh, you yeah, wouldn't know. Yeah, try these, it's fantastic. I, tried. I couldn't tell you what the seasoning was, but they're not bad. Yeah. Um, okay. okay, Tina's gonna love these. I'm excited for these. Yes. If you've watched any of our other videos, you know I'm always um, loving the truffle stuff. So these are black truffle fries. Of course, I love French fries too, so it's combining two of my favorite things. I love it when restaurants have truffle fi fries on the menu. Black truffle potato fries, the crispiest, classiest fries in Taiwan. When you think of black truffles, you probably think of gourmet European dishes, but that may change soon. In 2014, scientists dug up four new species of truffles found only in Taiwan. Hmm. Didn't know that. That's interesting. Yeah. Since truffles are mostly imported and can cost upwards of $108 per ounce, it's no surprise that they want to mass produce the truffles within 10 years. Till then, there's another way to savor Taiwanese truffles, these crispy, earthy potato fries. Can I get a idea what they look like? So let's just pull one out. They do look like little mini French fries. Freeze dried fries. Yeah, they remind you a little of a truffle truffle chip, but in a dried up French fry. <laughs> Definitely have a. Didn't taste the truffle at first, but the aftertaste. Mm -hmm. I, I can really taste it that way. What about you? Do you immediately taste the truffle, or do you have a more busy aftertaste like I do? Maybe an aftertaste. I feel like it's not the strongest truffle flavor I've had. We've tried a lot of different truffle chips, and of the ones, other chips we've tried, I think these are not the strongest truffle flavor. Because I know you love these, I'm not having any more. <laughs> Yeah, these are good. I could definitely munch on these. Those are Tina's property. I'm sad they didn't give us a bigger bag, though. It's a really tiny bag. Give us a lot of popcorn. <laughs> Why can we have that yeah. size? Yeah. I'm trying to think. In Daiso, we get, now I don't remember the brand, but they look like little French fries and they have um, butter. The butter flavor. There's a spicy. Yeah. I, I think I actually like those better as far as just overall. Just the French, the potato flavor in them, I think is a little yeah. bit better than these, even though these are truffle. I think they need to make truffle flavor in Agreed. those that we found at Daiso. But these are these are pretty good though. Yeah. I definitely eat those. And I'm not touching them, those are all yours. <laughs> so we have three remaining items here. Mm -hmm. Young lady, what do you feel like? Next up, let's try the soft yuzu citrus cake. It seems like we've been getting a lot of yuzu flavored items in our Boxu Japanese snack box. Yeah, that looks familiar. It says, taste Taiwan's favorite fruit, citrusy yuzu. If you've never tasted yuzu, you imagine a citrus fruit with a thick, coarse skin that tastes like a lemon, mandarin, and grapefruit in one. 
Amazingly floral and zesty, that's yuzu, originally found in China. It eventually made its way to Taiwan and the rest of East Asia. Today it's used in everything from hot springs and skincare to teas and sauces. The most surprising form we've seen, the yuzu chicken burger, a seasonal item at McDonald's. <laughs> chicken burger. Well, that's different. Might be good though, you never know. It, the things we don't get at our McDonald's here. Can't knock it till you try it, it might be fantastic. Yeah. To me, this smells like coconut. It kind of does, yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna give it a try now. Just like uh, a little little sponge cake, I guess. Almost looks like two Fig Newtons on top of each other. Kind of, sort of. Kind of. Kind of, sort of. This looks like a little sponge cake to me. I'm still processing yuzu chicken sandwich. But, okay. Now I kind of want to try it. Well, that part does kind of remind me of a fig newton. Of a fig newton. Yeah, it's got that fruit filling in the center. Let's see, it's kind of all right to me. I'd rather have a fig newton. <laughs> really? Mm-hmm. I'd rather have one of these. Really? Oh yeah, these are good. I like them. Uh, soft. Mm -hmm. The uh, baked outside soft. The inside is moist. Yeah, I like that. Like the flavor of them, they're good, but you would prefer just a regular fig newton. Mm -hmm. The cake part seems a little bit dry to me, and I think I just like the fig flavor better than the the yuzu. But we have had other yuzu items that I haven't really enjoyed. Yeah, so I'm surprised. I thought you would have liked this more. Yeah, it's just all right. Yeah, but now it's gone. <laughs> no, it's not. Not bad. Okay. Next up, we have Taro Classic Wafers. And I really love Taro chips. I tried them for the first time in Hawaii mm -hmm. and really love the taste of them. I don't know what to expect from these. And then we started finding them actually at the dollar store, which was great because they were very, very expensive in Hawaii and we found them for a dollar. The taro chips at the dollar store. Not all the time, but when we find them, we pick them up. And I think you like them too, right? Yeah. Uh, once in a blue moon, See them like the, the texture of them a little bit. I'd say harder than your typical potato chips. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, enjoy them. So it says made with taro potatoes, nuttier, richer kin. Say hello to taro potatoes, tropical fruit, fle purple flecked cousin. With the complex nutty flavor and extreme versatility, taro is beloved in Taiwan. In fact, there's an entire celebration dedicated to the root. I had no idea. They look like sugar cookies. Look like little sugar wafers. They do. I don't want to just split one. And yeah, let's one. just split one. So yeah, they definitely look like a, just a wafer cookie. Boop. <laughs> Smells good. Sweet smell. They're not super flavorful. The outside really reminds me of the little the ice cream cones that you get. Yes. But they call them Scoopy. Was it Scoopy? Was the name of them? I just remember them as wafer cones, sugar, mm -hmm. cone, sugar cones. Yeah, not the sugar cones, not the ones with the pointy, but the ones that had the, like that you get at Thrifty Ice Cream, I think. If you told me these were vanilla flavored, I would believe you. I'm not yeah, really I'm not any. tasting the taro, really. Yeah, it's not bad, it's just I'm not tasting the taro either. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, not a whole lot of flavor to them. Yeah, it's one of those, as far as the weight, I'm not that big on the wafer type cookies. That wafer is, is not bad. I do like that ice cream cone uh, flavor, mm -hmm. but um, but yeah, the interior, the creamy part that's supposed to be taro just didn't have a lot of flavor. But then again, I've had I've had poi too, which is made out of taro and it doesn't have a whole lot of flavor either. But. Yeah, yeah, they're okay. Yeah. As, as I said, you could tell me, hey, these are vanilla. I would believe they're yeah. vanilla. <laughs> it's just very light, slightly sweet um, cream filling. Agreed. So we have one last item, Taiwan Choco Ball. Choco Ball. Yeah, kind of fancy packaging there. So this says chocolatey mochi with peanut cream. Hmm. Think Reese's, but very, very Taiwanese. That's another thing. We've been seeing videos lately. And we've been seeing people refer to Reese's as Reese's. So if you know the correct pronunciation, please let us know. I grew up thinking it was Reese's. Me too, and I, I want to say that the commercials we saw growing up said Reese's. Yes. So that's why I'm going with Reese's. That's how I remember it too. 
Because remember, it used to be Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. The guy walking quickly or he was, was he running with a chocolate bar and then someone else was running yeah, with, with a peanut butter. Yeah. Your chocolate ran in my peanut butter. Your peanut butter's in my chocolate. Okay. So, in general four. They look very good. They do. Looks like dark chocolate. Hmm. Smell good. Come in a little wrapper. It looks just like a little chocolate truffle or bonbon or something like that. It does. It does look like a little bonbon chocolate. These I do like, definitely. Of course, I, I do love that chocolate and peanut butter combination. And then that little extra chewy mochi. This is how I like my mochi. <laughs> we've, we've had some mochi that mm -hmm. it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad, maybe lacking a little flavor. Um, didn't dislike it, that was okay. Um, some was sweeter than others, but I'm sorry, you put chocolate and peanut butter. Uh, yeah, this is. That was good. This is very good, yeah. Yeah, I don't think, have we had chocolate covered mochi? I don't think we have. We had, mm. you know, like you said, in a lot of different flavors, but not chocolate covered. And then a little bit of peanut butter inside. Now I have to say, it didn't quite look like this when we bit into it. No. Maybe just because it got squished when we bit into it, but. Still good. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so now is the time when we pick a favorite. <clears throat> Favorite. Can only savory. pick one. Well, it can be one savory, one. One savory, one sweet, yeah. Okay. Ladies first. This will be a pretty easy one for me. Favorite savory will have to be the black truffle fries, definitely. Didn't really care. It was okay, but I didn't care for that. Uh, the flavor of the soy crackers. Mainly the flavor of the cracker, not so much the spice. And then, of course, these, these choco balls. The mochi choco balls. Definitely good. I, I actually did like, I was surprised that I liked the bubble tea popcorn, but that was a good snack. But these, if you're wanting something a bit more rich, are delicious. How about you? Okay. This is where we agree to disagree. <laughs> oh. Because for the savory, I'm gonna go with these soy crackers. There you go. I thought these had a little more flavor than the uh, truffle potato. Mm -hmm. Definitely spicier. I could taste the truffle. I just thought I've had other potato snacks where the potato flavor was stronger. Mm -hmm. I didn't think those were bad, but I, I just pre prefer the taste of these. All right. These soy crackers. Didn't think they were bad at all. Now, as far as sweets, <laughs> oh man, this this was a pleasant surprise. Yeah. As I said, we've had uh, different kinds of mochi before, and they weren't overly really sweet, and they were fine. Um, I like them all the same. But something about the peanut butter and the chocolate. Yeah, mm -hmm. nice combination. So. And really unexpected because most flavors they had like maybe fruit flavors or the red bean paste. To find a chocolate and peanut butter combination is just very unexpected. Right. So yeah, definitely enjoyed that one. Maybe chill it next time. But maybe, might be good. As a runner up though, I like, you know, I enjoy these. I'm mm -hmm. pleasantly surprised. And yeah, they, they do smell like Cracker Jacks. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're not overly sugary sweet. And just looking at the packaging, I didn't know what to expect. Were there yeah. like little <laughs> little dehydrated tapioca beads in here? No, no. It's, I'm gonna cleanse the palate. Sure. So, yeah, I would, say, I would say it's a good haul. So mm -hmm. overall, another fun Universal Yums box. We always look forward to what we get each time. Mm -hmm. We haven't quite been subscribed a year yet. Um, I think we started earlier this year. I have heard people complain that they do a lot of duplicate stuff, but that hasn't happened for us yet because we haven't been subscribed long enough. And maybe if that happens, we'll try another box. If you have any suggestions for subscription boxes, let us know in the comments. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and please subscribe to our channel. It really helps our channel out a lot. If you like food unboxings and food reactions, that's what we like to do on this channel. So until next time, Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.